Yeah, I'm in Gotham City in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? Bacon, egg, and cheese poppy back in full effect. And I'm gonna make this a quick video because some very disturbing footage was released on my Instagram, Swayze ENT. And I just wanna bring that to you guys' attention real quick. But before we get into the video, let me introduce you people to my new and reoccurring best friends. And today we have, of course, the bro. You already know, holy cigarettes. And he didn't say anything. He's just making sure your boy has enough for the back with a bev for the rest of the week. Thanks, Brody. You are truly appreciated. And if you too want to become one of Swayze's new best friends, you already know the drill. Hit the cash app. But guys, it looks like some riveting, extremely riveting footage was released showing fans making a collage of all of the incidents where Didi Osama attempted to mimic K Flock. Now, I'm not saying that I agree that he's trying to be like K-Flock, but this is some very hard-hitting evidence and proof that the fans put together. Now, I'm gonna let you guys check it out real quick, and I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. Get down, nigga. Bow, bow. Steps. He keep running till he out of breath. I kept clicking till I'm going deaf. Oh, has get boost. I ain't going out without a fight. Get this call the DD to get pipe. So, and if Brody gets stuck in the slammer, Mama go help it. I ain't going out without a Now after we put this up on the gram, the comments went crazy. Some people was like, wow, he's really a fan. He ain't even a fan, he's the whole air conditioner. K Flock went to jail and he took his whole image. And there are also some people that are saying that this is a reach. And Didi Osama actually has his own style separate of K Flock's. Now I'm gonna tell it to y'all just like this. At the end of the day, bro, there's nothing new under the sun. And I don't think these videos or pictures kind of prove anything. Bro, everybody in the towns is doing the same thing. Everyone's wiping their nose. Everyone's showing their watch. Everyone's pointing lasers. If anything, you could do like 10 more collages of these with 20 other drill rappers. Everyone's doing the same thing. I just think what we have here is the K-Sexuals and the DD Dick Riders going back and forth once again. Like, like they can't just get along. And even if Didi Osama is a little inspired by K Flock, what's the problem? What's the problem with that? He's a young, impressionable kid. Y'all acting like he a grown man that took a kid's style. If he looked up to K Flock a little bit, so what? Everybody has someone they looked up to. K Flock looked up to King Vaughn. He literally gave himself that nickname K Roy. There's nothing wrong with being a little inspired by somebody. You kids need to chill. And the only thing that I will agree on that looks strikingly similar is the music videos that they did with Lil Mabu. I'm not gonna lie. The whole green background, the cane and the laser pointing, I ain't gonna lie. You guys got a point with that one. Those things look too similar. I don't even think that was just a coincidence. I think Lil Mabu has something to do with that. You got to understand, once this kid is done slamming the several doors in his father's mansion and screaming to his parents, I hate you, after receiving hundreds of thousand dollars a month in allowance, he comes over here to the slums and gets money for features. So I don't think you could really put that on Didi Osama. Bro, as long as Lil Mabu's father is paying for these features, he's going to be here until further notice. But I don't know. You guys tell me. Are people reaching or is Didi Osama literally a clone of K Flock? Pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Boop.